Dirt Connections, right here, right now. Good morning, my neighbors. I'm in McLean, Virginia, and uh, I just started this little project. It's a gravel driveway off of Kirby Road, and what I've Today's Friday, I got uh, 75 tons of 21A coming in tomorrow. So what I've done is, I've, for the last 45 minutes, I've been working this driveway, smoothing it out, and trying to repurpose the existing material and push it up here because we want the grade to break this way. So I don't want to waste all the good material filling that hole. So we're scraping this cutting it slightly because that's the way we want the water to go I'm gonna get in here one more time there's a, a lot of debris in here uh, it's important for all of you owners of gravel driveways if you want to keep you know the mulch you know uh, leaves you know from the seasons you want to clear that so the water can run off so you can see there's a little mound there. I'm going to get in there and I'm going to get in there with a tooth bucket and scrape it one last time. Throw it to my left and we'll be good to go. So I got that and then I got my approach here. There's a sidewalk over there so I'm going to pull that pea gravel that they put in there and so I when I lay down my 21A it'll be flush with my concrete so there's not a lot of material here so yeah I'm just going to use the existing push it to the push it to the one side so it'll spill toward the you know these bushes we can't we cannot go to the left over here I can go downhill tie into where the mailboxes the little stones that'll, that'll work there's a little turnaround over there. I'm not supposed to play with it, but I'm going to dress it up. So, let me get back at it. And um, we'll report back later. Enjoy this perfect day. Here's another perspective. It's looking pretty good, dressing it up. I want to be 100% ready for tomorrow. i got to pull all that pea gravel from in front of that driveway so my 21a comes up flush with the top of the concrete so I'll use a straight edge bucket there after my customer's wife leaves report back soon okay. it's uh, 10 30 and I dress this place up really well I pulled all that pea gravel back tomorrow first thing in the morning one of my one of the helpers will just take the flat hit, flat edge shovel and just throw that over here and they'll have about two inches of play I can put about two inches of material there to make it flush with the concrete driveway so that looks good I graded all this out and I tidied up this parking area dress that all up and you can see the tracks I took all material and pushed it up this way looks good tomorrow we load out of the quarry at six we'll make five lifts five rounds and bring in 75 tons of 21a I'm going to start in the back behind me and take the trucks out they're going to back in the driveway and tailgate it and then I'm going to push it and level it and dress it up and Francisco will help me dress that up over there a little bit and out where I tie into the sidewalk and the apron we'll dress that up there a little bit for the customer and everything will be right with the world so this thing's fueled up Hydraulic fluid's good. Oil is good. Let's see, what else? Hydraulic fuel. I greased it all up. We're ready for first thing in the morning. This machine's ready to go. 
so we'll be here tomorrow at 6 a.m. As for now, I hope everybody can enjoy this perfect day. This job is going to turn out marvelous. Okay, so it's uh, 6.25 a.m. Saturday. Jonathan is five minutes out with the quad. He's got 15 tons, and we got another truck right behind him. And, you know, spacing is about 10 minutes. So we're going to back him up to the Bobcat. Put the chains on the uh, tailgate and walk him out. The other truck doesn't have chains, but... Too bad, so sad, no problem. Yesterday, I pulled all the stone back from that little driveway and there's concrete there, so I got down as deep as I can. I'm probably about an inch, inch to the lip. There's just, can't go any deeper without busting the concrete or saw cutting it and then busting it, but that's not in the deal, so I'll butt up flush with my uh, existing finished floor, finished top of my concrete driveway and grade it out. And I'm just gonna push this up and stretch my material. I only have five loads in, coming in here, 75 tons. That's all that the customer and I decided to get. If, they, if we need more, we can talk about that later. Right now, I'm just gonna do a good job with the five loads coming in here. Report back soon. Okay, the guys did awesome. 75 tons of 21A, graded it out, looks pretty nice. Slowly turn around. Just gonna back grade it with a tooth bucket. Smooth everything out. And we're gonna park the machine and get the other trailer out of here, but this job is done. I'll shoot one more video as I get closer to the driveway. Okay guys, I'm pulling the one trailer out that I brought in case I needed any of these attachments for the skid loader. This driveway turned out nice, as you can see. And uh, we'll come and get the machine on the next trip. I hope everybody enjoys this perfect day. Positive thoughts and prayers. Many, 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 many thanks. Dirt Connections is right here, right now. Dirt Connections, the professionals.